Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi guys and welcome to another Fool of the Week. This week's Fool is Greg Hans, the Tory party chairman. Now Greg was interviewed by Andrew Marr on his LBC show where he was trying to convince people not to vote for the Labour Party but vote for the Tories at the next general election because his party is on the side of working people. Greg lists off a number of anti-striker actions and claims that they will help ordinary working people but thankfully Marr asked about working people who were part of a trade union and what the Tories have done for them. You will not believe what Greg said next. One of her headline lines, if I can put it that way, was that Labour would introduce an economy that really worked for working people. Do you think the economy works for working people now? Well, uh, look, I think in terms of, uh, it's very popular, things like the uh, minimum service level, some of the anti-strike legislation actually works for working people. Who actually takes the train in the morning to get into work? It is working people. Who actually uses ambulances and depends on uh, other services uh, for their livelihood and their well-being is actually working people. So I think but a lot, lot of what we're doing is to benefit working people. A lot of the people who will be voting in the general election are unionised workers. What are you offering them? Well, what we're offering them is uh, continued uh, prosperity, act... <laughs> what? Continued prosperity. There's a cost of living crisis. There's a Tory co cost of living crisis. So what he's offering people who are members of a trade union who are on strike at the moment in, in many ways because of the cost of living crisis is more of the same. More prosperity. My goodness. Access to the economy. Access to the economy. What the hell does that mean? Access to the economy. Yeah, yeah, you're a member of a trade union. What is the Tory what has the Tory party done for you? Uh, they've given us access to the economy. Well, does that mean like buying stuff? Well, ov obviously because of the cost of living crisis, it's buying less stuff. Record uh, low Continued levels prosperity. of joblessness. Low levels of joblessness. But how does it, how does that help people who are part of a trade union? If you're a member of a trade union, you're probably working. Like what are you offering us? Um, well, there's lower unemployment, which is actually not the case, but let's say it is for the sake of argument. How does that help people who are already working? Uh, unemployment uh, remains at a 30-year uh, low, employment at a high. Once again, how does high employment help people who are already working? But this is not so much about just people working. This is about people who are members of a trade union. What have you done to help people who are a member of a trade union? And your answer is prosperity, low unemployment, high employment, and access to the economy. Oh my goodness. That's why Greg is our Fool of the Week. See you next time for our next Fool of the Week.